Hey guys, your boy Vaughn again here at Blue Line Exotics. Today we got some pretty good news. We do have eggs again. Uh, this pairing here was a banana pinstripe. This is daddy right here. This is Pennywise, the, my banana pinstripe. He was bred to my girl uh, Priscilla. She is a pastel inchy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take, take a look at her here in a second. But first off, before you start doing all that, a few things that you need to go ahead and have. One, go ahead and have your tub set up. This is called vermiculite. You mix it with water. You can do about a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, you know, you don't want it too thick, but you do want it to be able to, whenever you kind of squeeze it, you do want it to clump together some, have a little bit of moisture to it. Typically, if you take a squeeze in your hand really tight, a little bit of it, you can kind of hear like a squishy noise. That's, that's a good sign, but you don't want it to where whenever you squeeze it, it's just dripping water. So... Also, go ahead and have your towel. Typically, your mamas are going to be really mad about you taking their eggs. Understandable. Towel is a good, good way to keep them being bit if you have one of those egg aggressive females. Also, go ahead and have your marker. The reason for the marker is you want to mark your eggs on the top. And I'll go ahead and show you my other clutch of eggs that I have. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll mark the top of the eggs, the little lines. That way, if while separating the eggs, if one rolls, you can put it back in the original position that she had it in. Depending on how long it's been since she laid the eggs, you know, you want the, it, it will, they end up caught, building like a little air bubble in the top. You don't want that air bubble being swished around from an egg rolling. Like I said, if it rolls, you put it back into the original position it was that it was at. And you know that because of the little black mark. If you're wondering about, about the little initials, that's just something that I learned from a buddy of mine, Dwayne Kaiser over at Muddy Water Reptiles, also located in Mississippi. Look him up on Facebook, hit him up. Uh, basically, you and your family members, friends, whoever, can just kind of pick and choose which one y'all think is going to be the best one out of the clutch, and you put your initial on it. And then you see who's right or wrong, you know, once you cut the eggs open. Put those back in there. Then we'll get to Mama here. Go ahead and put her up on higher ground to where I have a better angle here. As you can see there, she's already getting mad. She's hit some sun. So yeah, she's not gonna be an easy moment to take off. But again, that's where you can just take the towel, kind of put it over your hand. You're gonna cover her up. I figure out the best spot to grab her at. Kind of a little lower than the head. Because again, you want to be able to control her head as you're taking her off. You're going to gently take her off. Slowly take her off. Try not to disturb the eggs. She seems to be calming down a little bit. Try to hold the eggs to keep them controlled. Again, try to keep them from moving around as you separate her from them. Typically, once you get them off, they're typically pretty calm. Now they're no longer on them, so therefore they don't want to be that protective anymore. Now, for now, we just put her in with her boyfriend for the time being while I get these eggs situated. Then as you see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. Uh, I believe this is Priscilla's second clutch. Uh, I know she's had one clutch before. Uh, person I had it from, this is her son. His name is Peter. He's also the same thing as Mama. He's a pastel inchy as well. He's currently breeding with a couple of normals that I have. So like I said, you'll just simply take the marker and mark the top of the eggs. Like I said, just in case that they try to roll on you some, then you've got those marks. If you want to go ahead and initial one, I'm going to claim that one. Baby, which one you want to claim? The top one. Point, point one out. You want the top one? Yeah. All right. So the wife's going to claim the top one, and I'm going to claim the one in the middle. Simple enough, you can check the eggs to see if any of them will separate without calling it damage and again that's going to depend on how long it's been since she's laid them and 
I'm gonna at least try to see if I can get the top one off to where maybe it'll lay a little bit better in the tub. Yeah, it don't look like it's gonna wanna separate too easily, so don't want to damage no eggs or anything like that, so we're not gonna force it. Take your tub of your substrate, pick up your eggs as gently as possible. You're just gonna lay them in there with the vermiculite. Put her tub back up. Let me give her. I do prefer to use, I use pee pads, puppy pads in my tubs. I still get full sheds, uh, still get, get good humidity levels and all. I don't have any issues with my female being out of I just took out some of the water. But we'll give some fresh water here in a minute. Doing the her back. Good job, mama. I said to take these eggs, kind of make sure that they get kind of good and situated. You need to adjust your vermiculite around them a little bit, kind of help out with moisture, heat, and all that. We got, already got her tub preset with her name on it. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the lay date on them. Of course, today is the 23rd. Uh, later on, I'll count up the days and figure out what, what's going to be the hatch date. The uh, hatch date is going to be sometime in towards the end of May, probably around about May 17th, May 18th. Somewhere around that day, like I said, I'll count it up for sure later. But basically, you'll just th then take the eggs in the container and just place them in the incubator. And that's it. And then the waiting game typically takes, cutting day will be typically on about day 55. Uh, you'll typically cut on that day. It'll usually take two to three days before they actually start coming out. Uh, it is a very hard waiting game. You can become very impatient with it. I know, or at least I know I do. Uh, but like I said, that's, that's today's video on, you know, pulling the clutch, getting it set up, dealing with, you know, potential angry mama. Uh, other than that, if y'all have any questions or comments, you know, let me know. Like I said, again, my name is William Vaughn, owner and operator of Blue Line Exotics. Hit me up on Facebook. Like I said, also, like I said, my, my buddy Dwayne Kaiser over at Muddy Water Reptiles, he's also here in Mississippi just like I am. So if y'all want to hit him up as well, he's got some really awesome combos and, you know, lots of babies currently and lots of babies coming. So if y'all would just hit either one of us up, if y'all have any questions or concerns or anything like that, y'all have a blessed day. Thank y'all.